Yes. Yes, sir. Oh, this one now. This one is necessary. Tomato. Emma Baba wo ikoni Professor Entertainment PSC TV igbadun yin lo je wa logun These are the two AK-47 rifles that were recovered. There uh, is the uh, locally made long gun. Uh, you, you can see the magazines and additional extra ammunition that was recovered and custom. This is the thing. India will be the most have recovered, the most have been forcefully collected from the Indian journals. Thank you. Mr. Okay. 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 But when you I welcome you to this very brief and imminent press briefing that emanated as a result of the recent breakthrough the command recorded today being 7th of May 2024 over their devil kidnappers. On the 4th of May 2024, the manager of police company Nigeria Limited located at Lagos Ibadan Expressway made a distress call to the DPO of Nui Divisional Headquarters that on the 3rd of May 2024, while his principals, numbering about 16, were returning to their residence at Cardiola Junction, a gang of kidnappers opened fire into the two Toyota Hertz buses with registration numbers FST 686YH ash color and SMK 986YE black color that was conveying them. In response, the PMF escort attached to the first box with registration number FST 686YH exchanged fire with the kidnappers and managed to escape with all the occupants of the first vehicle. Why three Indian nationals, namely Tajaram Shuan, male, Kadua Pradhan, male, and Medanin Katwada, male, all inside the second bus without police escort were all kidnapped to an unknown destination. The anti kidnapping section of the command, in concert with police formations in the Axis and other local security agents swung into action by combing the area. Policemen engaged the kidnappers in a fierce gun battle in the forest along Benicia Gamu at Papalanto around 16.30 hours of 7th May 2024 and succeeded in the rescue of the three victims on earth. In the course of the encounter, two of the six kidnappers were demobilized. 
two AK-47 rifles, one single barrel locally made gun, one sword, cell phone, and criminal shops with 65 rounds of live ammunition were also recovered. The likely ransom loot of the two demobilized kidnappers of the sum of 7 million 900,000 naira and 1,500 rupees were also recovered. The two demobilized suspects have been deposited in the public mortuary while intensive efforts are ongoing to arrest the four fleeing members of the kidnap gang. Thank you all for coming. Just looking at the phone. Please, can we meet you? Your name, sir? My name is Ted Moaki from there. So what really happened in this fateful day? What happened? I think it was um, last Friday, my staff, expert of the staff, they are on our way there to the get out. So they are attacked. This kidnapper attack and took away three men of the expert. So we went to the Mowe police station and we got immediately the DPO in charge was put everything in action. They went inside and to the kidnapper. But that day, they did not get him. On the second day, Saturday, Sunday, you have to leave the team to the forest and start to be But yesterday, I think we are going with some amount of 420 million naira. And with the help of the people and their system, so they give us um, one extra bag that we put this morning. I don't know what is inside. So until we have called this evening, that we have been taking our own bed. So that's the reason why we're coming here. And I confirm the two guys that these are the people that received the money. They even slapped me and my brother. They put us in charge one to pass. So when you went to drop the money, when we went to drop the they wanted to kidnap you too, or what? Yes. But I don't know what really happened. They said we could go with our eyes. They told me that it already happened. But you were able to recognize it through that collected the money for you? Yes, sir. Emma Bawawo Ikoni, Professor Entertainment, PSC TV, Ibadoni, Jewa Logun.